We often think being generic is good, but is there a case when being too generic can be bad? C11 gave us lambdas. C14 gave us generic lambdas. For example, let's write one here. This would be our very simple lambda, taking some parameter and maybe let's assume it is a vector and let's declare a vector here and call our lambda with that. As you can see, we didn't need to specify the full type. This looks fine until you do something else, something like this. Let's introduce another variable and call our lambda with that. And now we have an error. Quest for member and place back in T which is of non-class type int. The actual error is not that bad as far as template related errors are concerned, but it could be better. But what is quite bad is that the error comes from inside the lambda. While you can trace the error message back, it would be great to say that lambda expects something which permits in placing elements back, like a vector. This would move the error message to the actual call from where the error originates, so here. The actual error is in fact here. You can simply put the whole type there and avoid auto altogether, but that would remove being generic, so that's not really a solution. Fortunately, C20 gives us the ability to solve that problem by using familiar template syntax. It can still be generic, but not necessarily using auto. Let's pretend this lambda is a normal function, well, normal function template. So let's give it a normal function template signature. So here we put our template parameters, class t, and here we explicitly say that we expect a vector, a vector of type t. Now let's look at the error message. Here we go, at line 11. We have the proper error message in the proper place. No match to call to whatever our lambda, ah, and that's pretty much it. But as you can see, the error already tells us that we are calling it in a wrong way. The error doesn't tell us that something inside the lambda is broken. So just to show that everything works as expected, let's bring the vector back. Besides having better lambda signatures and diagnostics, we gain more helpful features. For example, we can use nested members of given types. Again, just like in typical templates. So let's modify our lambda a bit. Still, let it take a vector, but also an element we would like to emplace back. So naturally, type name, t. We need to change the vector t itself, value type, some value, and let's leave the emplacement as it was. Next, let's simply add the value here. And it works. T got recognized as a vector and a nested alias for a value also got recognized. Just like we would expect it to work. This wouldn't be that easy to do with using simply auto. Why don't you try to do it and see for yourself? But how about calling static member functions? Hmm? Let's see about that. First, let's create a helpful struct or a class called widget. Inside, let's introduce some static method. Static void f empty one. No big deal. And inside our lambda, let's get rid of this. Let's simply call our static method. Because why not? And here we simply pass a widget. Does it work? Of course it works. Looks quite easy and intuitive, right? So just to show you how much we gain by using template syntax, let's in this particular case try to use auto and see how it looks. So first of all we remove this and we add auto here. And you already can see that we are running into errors. Well, because we don't have the type, right? So how to get the type? Well, by introducing an alias. type of t. And now it works. But we are already adding stuff which is really unnecessary. 
it just fluff to tell the compiler what we actually want. This is not meant for programmers, this is only meant for the compiler. But it can get even worse. Let's make a small innocent change and add an R value reference here. And suddenly it blows up again. Note that the call is still perfectly valid. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to strip all qualifiers to make it work. Basically means we need to add more boilerplate. So let's use stdbk kt of our decal type from t. And now it works again. As you can see, we're adding even more stuff, which is well, logically unnecessary. The code gets bigger and more complicated for no other reason than the lack of proper language support. And why actual DKT instead of remove reference? It does some additional things which make life simpler. So no other reason than just convenience in this particular case. Okay, so to summarize, template syntax for lambdas makes the code more clear, easier to write, and gives better diagnostics. In my opinion, these are good arguments to use it where appropriate. Of course, that doesn't mean auto in lambdas is bad in any way. As usual, use the right tool for the job. Okay, I hope you found it formative, hope you found it interesting. If you have any questions, post them down below, click subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.